transform your life so that you can become well, the man he wants you to be. And that say, comes through here's Jesus. Here's where I say agree to disagree on our God, okay? Your, your God is not the only God. He is. He's the only God. To you, in no. your brain. The Word of God says there's one God, creator of heaven and earth. Jesus is God. It says in the beginning was the Word, Jesus so what, Christ, and he was with God. What are God all the other religions God. to you then? They're, in, they're really systems of control to put people in bondage. God doesn't want people you in religion. Christianity isn't a fucking Catholicism is. You're not religion. Christianity. How not, many wars are that's Catholicism. <laughs> that's Catholicism. <laughs> what? That that's me? Catholicism. No, no, you have a problem, miss? You have a problem with the preaching? What's causing you to do that? You're on my land. This is God's land. You're on God's land. We're all on God's land. This is God's land. You're on his land. You need to turn to Jesus. He died for you. He died for you. He loves you. He knows the pain in your life. He knows everything that's happened. All the anger, bitterness. He wants to see, set you free of that. Would you like that? What's your name? What's your name? Do you want to share your name? He loves you. He died for you. You. you can keep doing that. It's a demon speaking through you. You have demons. You want to be free of the demons in your life? You want to be free? You want to be free from demons? You want to be free from demons? No. It's the truth. It's the truth. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. What's keeping you in sin? Like Jesus can set you free of that. So you're homosexual? Oh yeah. It's in your grinder, dude. What's that? It's in your grinder. I don't even know what that is, but the thing is, uh, Jesus Christ is calling you to repent of your sins. There's a hell that needs to be avoided. You know, Jesus has actually set many homosexuals free from their sin because it is sin. Homosexuality is sin. It will lead to hell. God knows the abuse that you've had. God wants to heal you of that. I've met people. I have friends. I, the Jesus we're preaching about is real. He'll heal you. He'll deliver you. He'll save you if you want it. But if not, there's judgment. Well, that's not who God intended you to be. God wants to deliver you. When you see my face, you know what's going to happen? Jesus Christ is going to be pounding on the door of your heart saying it's time to repent. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. It's time to repent. Well, God needs to deliver you of that. That's gross. God doesn't want you to be a gross person. God didn't intend you to be gross. God didn't intend you to be gross. God intended you to be delivered, forgiven, and free. You'll remember this day. You will. You will. Just trust me. You don't want to mess with God. You don't want to play. You don't want to play uh, the harlot with God. You don't want to be somebody that rejects Jesus because there is consequences for that. Jesus has poured out His love to you. I've even poured out love to you here today, and all you can come back with is negativity and grossness. Think of how controlled your mind is by sexual spirits and demons. If, if all you can come up with is when you hear about Jesus dying on the cross. That you tell the preacher hearing about Jesus? Well you need to you need to you say that now. But all yeah, it's great. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Savior. Jesus is Lord. And he has authority over every demon in your life, but you gotta you gotta come to him. You gotta come to him, man. You gotta come to him. It's time. It's time to come to him. Because the Bible literally deals with it says that everyone who practices lying, fornication, adultery, homosexuality will have their place in the lake of fire, in judgment. You've been heard and the reason why the reason why the reason why you are choosing the life you are is because of hurt and pain and anger at God. You're angry at God. You, you're so angry at God you won't even admit it to yourself. You're so angry at God, you won't even admit it to yourself. Yeah, it's, it's true. I'm not saying your life doesn't matter, but 
the experience I'm having with you, Dhamma does, and everybody that's gone through what you've gone through, angry at God, angry at God, angry at God. Let God reach you. Let God's love in to reach you tonight. I pray for you in Jesus' name. I, God, I just pray for this person here, Lord, that you would reach them, that you would set them free, that you would help them. God, that you would help them to be free from everything that the devil wants to do to destroy their life. God, I pray that you would help them to become free, God, free from sin, free from their pride, free from their arrogance, free from every negative thing that the devil has done in their life and the things that they've embraced that are wicked in your sight. God, I pray that you would free them. God, I thank you that there's power and authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So tonight is a night for the Lord to reach people. Will you let the Lord reach you tonight? Will you let God reach you tonight? Will you let his love reach you? Will you let his goodness reach you? You know, the Bible says God demonstrates his love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. While we were his enemies, Jesus died for us. Think of that. Most people here would not die for a random person. Most people here would not die for a random person. Maybe you die for a loved one, maybe not. But Jesus Christ dies for his very enemies. Jesus Christ dies for those that actually hate him, for those that curse him. Man, what kind of love is that? What greater love is that, that when Jesus is on the cross, he literally is crying out, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Incredible, 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 incredible. No greater love than the love of Jesus Christ. No greater truth than the truth of Jesus Christ. Yes, there's no truth without love, and there's no love without truth. Everybody wants love, 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 but love has truth to it. The truth is there is a God, and he's calling you, and he's calling me to know him. Will you let Jesus into your life tonight? Will you let Jesus Christ reach you tonight? Will you let your heart be changed tonight? Will you let your life be changed tonight? Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. God can do it if you're willing. Have you given your heart to Jesus? Praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight is the night. Will you let God's love reach you? Elite culture. I know the guy that uh, owns the brand. Oh, yeah, so do I. That, yeah. Are you living for Jesus? I see you got a cross on your ear. What do you think about Jesus? God with the glasses. Let's talk. If you're his representation, I have less respect for him than I did before. Why is that? Give me a reason why. Oh, that's weak. You can't even give a reason why. Hey, don't don't get hit by a car. According to where you are, you'd end up in hell if you died tonight. So don't want to see that happen. We want to see you come to Jesus. So why? Come back and talk. Why do you think that it's not a good representation? Guy that's standing in the street. Why why talk and then walk away? Are your views that shallow that they, you can't defend them? Are your views that shallow? I mean, that's sad. That's sad when people have such shallow views. Such shallow views. Can't even talk. Oh, no, the guy came up and he, he wanted, I'm talking about Jesus and he thought that that's bad. I'm asking him why he thought it's bad. He couldn't even talk and tell me. It's time. It's time to repent. Yeah. Have you repented? Have you repented of your sins? Amen. Amen. You have? Amen. Is Jesus your Lord and Savior? Amen. He is? Okay. Yeah. You're too judgmental, though. No. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm a fire alarm. No, you're, you're if you really know Jesus, you should be standing with us. You should be standing you're with us. Judgmental. You know who John the Baptist was? He said to repent yeah, for the yeah, kingdom yeah. of God is at hand. Jesus called people to repent. Yeah. He didn't preach flowers and uh, breadsticks. He preached people to, that should come and turn away from their sin, turn to him. Yeah. yeah. Sure, please. Disrespecting my elders. I try. Sure, sure. Share the gospel with as many people on your uh, thing as possible. Put me on TikTok. Put me on Instagram Reels. Praise the Lord. It's great. It's great. It's advertising for the gospel. And it's not disrespecting your elders because he believed in Jesus. He just had a little, he thinks I should do it different. I'm saying this is the way the Bible says. Praise the Lord. Colonizer. Praise the Lord. Colonizer. No. Colonizer. No. Colonizer. Nope. I'm not, I wasn't Catholic. I wasn't Catholic. I'm not Catholic. You know, you, you know who the colonizers were. Who were they? Are you able to talk or just say the same word? See, it's funny because you're making it 
You're just showing the world. You're showing the world. You're showing the world that you can't really share anything else. If we have a conversation, you can't even share a conversation. Here, say it, stay it loud so it can be picked up. So that's what you live for. That's what you live for. It doesn't last. 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 Sin is pleasurable for a season, but it leads to death. It leads to death. It leads to death. Sin leads to death. Sin leads to death. Sin leads to death. Sin leads to death. So interesting. So interesting. Jesus is Lord. 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 Hey, Alex, I'll call the police on you. Alex, you don't want to do that. You're on video, bro. I'll call the police. If you can. No, he just came up and touched me. Hey, Alex, Alex, you can't come up and touch people. Alex, you can get in touch. You want me to call the police? Bro, video. Video. Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, Jesus is Lord, yes he is. Jesus is Lord, Krishna is a demon, 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 yeah. Just because you don't believe in their beliefs doesn't make it a demon, y'all. No, it is. That's what the Bible says. It's literally what the Bible says. It says that. Well, here. Let's have a conversation. I'm afraid of Catholic, but this is not Christianity. Well, let me ask you. Do you believe that any other God can save? Miss, I want to. Believe being saved. What? Do you believe that you're homo? I can't hear you. Do you believe that so God needs? People can't have conversation. People can't have conversation because they don't got the truth. Don't got the truth. Don't got the truth. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to God except through Jesus. No other name, no other name by which men and women can be saved. Jesus wants to save Straight people, he wants to save gay people, he wants to save trans people, he wants to save black people, he wants to save white people, he wants to save Asian people, Hispanic people, native people. Jesus is the savior of the world. There is one savior, there is one name given under heaven by which men can be saved. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. The name above every name. You guys said before you believe in Jesus. Is that true or just him? You do? Are you living it out with all your heart? What's your necklace? Is it the scorpion, uh, like, astrology thing? Okay. Because astrology is not of God. It opens the doors to demons, yeah? You believe it? Okay. What do you think about Jesus? The guy with the Reebok shirt. Did you know that he loves you, that he died for you? He wants to heal you? That he actually died on the cross for your sins? Did you know that? It's the truth. It's the truth. There's one name given under heaven by which men and women can be saved. The name of Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. Yes. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Whoever does not believe is condemned, but whoever believes is not condemned because he's believed in the name of the only son of God. And this is the judgment. People love darkness rather than the light because their works are evil. 
What do you guys think of Jesus? Guy in the green, what do you think of Jesus? Jesus Christ is calling each person here, in here tonight. Will you let Jesus Christ reach you? Will you let the love of Jesus Christ reach you? Will you let Jesus heal you? Will you let Jesus free you? You see, that's what God's looking for. Will you open up your heart and let Him reach you? Will you let the love of God reach you? Will you let love reach you? Is there so much hatred? So much hatred for things that have happened in your life? So much hatred towards others? So much pride and selfishness and self-want that you can't let love reach you? You know, the Bible says that pride goes before destruction. A haughty spirit before fall. Better to be lowly in spirit and among the oppressed than to share the plunder with the proud. My friend, have you given your pride to Jesus? That's what you're saying, but it's, it's not the truth. It's not the truth. I don't even know what that is. I mean, you should, if it's a naughty site, you should not be on naughty sites. <laughs> don't even know what that is, praise the Lord. How about you, man? What do you think of Jesus? What's that? Oh, Mary uh, Karina? Yeah, but I'm Catholic. I don't like y'all's religion, though. Why not? Here, talk to me. So you don't believe in Jesus? You believe in Mary? Who do you believe in, Mary or Jesus? Mary or Jesus. See, there's a difference between Catholicism. Catholicism puts people on, in dead works, dead religion. Gets people looking to uh, the Pope, gets people looking to priests. And you know, a lot of the atrocities, talking about the atrocities, Catholic Church, person right here, whatever your name is, Catholic Church is the one that did all that. Jesus preached, love your neighbor, <laughs> love your enemies even, do good to those who curse you. It's because Catholicism got mixed with Roman imperialism and went around trying to uh, conquer the world, which is really the result all sinful people do that. The Arabs did it. They did that too. You know, the natives actually did that too. They would go and conquer other people. Uh, the British would do that. A lot of people would uh, go around conquering. Gosh, this person needs some help or freedom or something. Something's causing them to manifest tonight. See, when people hear about Jesus, it'll cause demons to start to manifest. When people hear the name of Jesus, it will cause demons to start to manifest because there is power in the name of Jesus. Did you know that? There's power in the name of Jesus. When people call out to Jesus Christ, He hears them. When you call out to the Jesus of the Bible, He'll hear you. Have you done that in your life? Have you called out to the Jesus of the Bible? Why, why are you shaking your head? When, why? Give me a reason. SpongeBob SquarePants person, tell me. Why? Why no Jesus? Why not? Why not? What do you think of Jesus? You big guy. What does my clock say? It's time to repent. Do you believe that? No. Why not? I don't know, man. I'm we, trying to walk down the street. Well, let's talk real quick. This, this is going to be the best talk you have all night. No one's, it's not, this will be a memory. No one else is going to talk to you like right. this tonight. It is time to repent. You should do it. What do you think? Is your heart being drawn to God? His isn't. What's pulling you, man? You obey guy. What's pulling you away from God? Is it lust? Pornography? A lot of younger people are pulled to pornography. Pornography is wicked. It's evil. It's manipulation of women. It's ensnaring. It's as, ad as addictive as cocaine. And it doesn't last. It doesn't last. Porno pornography. Do you watch a lot of pornography? Person right here? person that wants to have conversations sometimes. Are you in bondage to pornography? Yeah, you right here. You watch a lot of porn? Yeah? Yeah or no? Well, God wants to free you of that. Pornography is disgusting. Pornography is disgusting. Pornography is disgusting. God wants to set you free. God wants to set you free. Oh, you're, you guys are back. Let's talk. We're going to a bar. Let's talk. Can we, can okay. we talk about Kisma? What is that? Can I see the microphone? Well, ask me, because sometimes people yell did, bad stuff. Did you read the scripture of Kisma? What is it? Kisma ass. Okay, why is that funny? What do you mean, dude? You have to agree. 
objectively, that's funny that you just said kiss my ass. No, because this is serious stuff. No, I'm serious. No, you're not serious. You, you, you're not serious at all. You're running. What are you running from? Why do you got a crystal on you? Probably your mama. You're looking for freedom from hurt and pain? You're angry for, about stuff? It just looks cool. No, everybody that's I'm ever for witchcraft. into that. Why are you just talking about Are you witchcraft? into witchcraft? Why are you going to ask questions Wait, and then talk over witchcraft? Okay, go ahead. What's witchcraft? Oh, You're okay. into witchcraft? Okay, what are you? Uh, I'm into your mama. Miss, God's calling you. Jesus died for you. Jesus is calling you. Look at look at what the clock says. Look at what the clock hey, says. Satan's here already. And that's why Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Hey, you're on the GPS. You're on the GPS app. What's your name? Where did you grow up? What? I got it. I got it. Where did you grow up? Tucson. What are your parents like? They love God. You look really happy. I am. Were you homeschooled? No. no. I mean, I don't think it's wrong, but no, I wasn't homeschooled. I, I encountered Jesus Christ. He changed Whoa, my life. Why didn't ask all that? Well, it doesn't matter. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ changed my life. He forgave me of my sins. He forgave me of my sins, and What's He can do that for you. What is y'all's YouTube channel called? Uh, well, there's many. You, you should look up something called Alpha and Omega. Where's this going? Uh, where is it going? Uh, your mama's house. Okay. But why are you trying to make jokes when you have a soul that's one day either going to spend eternity with God in heaven no, wait, or eternity with no, God in hell? I'm, I'm, yeah, cool. That's, all that's cool. Too. I'm just wondering where, like, is this, like, what, what's y'all's channel called? I just want to watch. You could look up Alpha and Omega. It's not our channel, but oh, like, that would life. totally change your, like, your life. I don't need to be changed, dude. Like, I believe I think in you God. do. I, no, you didn't. You said you didn't believe in being saved before. Because that's, like, an evangelical only thing. What did Jesus come to do? All over your mama? What did Jesus come to do? Absolve well, that must offend you if you're Catholic. Absolve us of our sins. Why and why did we need to be absolved of our sins? Because mankind is inherently flawed. Right, and so is that saving us from our sins? But not in the way that you guys believe in, like, saving. Like, Jesus. Do you believe in hell? Jesus, no. And but if, the if Catholic did, Church even believes right in hell. Here with evangelicals like well, that's not Catholic doctrine. I'm not a Catholic. Faith. No, the Catholic Church actually believes in hell, believes in purgatory, believes in all these things. I said I don't believe in a hell. But I thought you said you're Catholic. Yes. Okay, so you don't believe what your own church believes? Um, I would say more culturally Catholic. Okay, so you're not really like, oh, I believe Jesus is the only way to get to God and that he's... A... Okay, do you believe, believe in the Bible? Um, not you guys' interpretation. Well, I mean, do you even believe in the Bible at all? Yes, absolutely. What do you believe about the Bible? Is it God's word? No, it's parables. Okay, the, the Bible itself doesn't claim to be parables. It claims to be the word of God no, it's inspired. Parables. God didn't sit here and write this. What about when Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to God except through me. Did you go to school after high school? Yeah, I have a master's degree. In we theology? Can, yeah. Okay. So Jesus Christ, see, can't argue. Can't deal with the truth. So, tonight is the night. If you'll open up your heart to Jesus Christ, let him reach you. 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 Let the love of Jesus Christ reach you tonight. Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord of all. He is Lord of all. He is Lord of all. Jesus Christ is Lord of all. He loves you and he died for your sins and he's calling you. Did you know that Jesus died for you? It's the truth. Oh, uh, then you're in error, because he did. Did you know Jesus died for your sins? How about you? Everybody's faced with a choice. What will they do? What will you do with the gospel? What will you do with the gospel of Jesus Christ? What will you do with the gospel of Jesus Christ? Will you let Jesus Christ in? Will you let Jesus Christ reach you tonight? Will you let Jesus Christ reach you tonight? What about you guys? Will you let Jesus reach you? Will you let Jesus reach you? Will you let Jesus reach you tonight? Will you let Jesus reach you tonight? Will you let Jesus break you out of your sin? Will you let Jesus change your life? Deliver you from homosexuality? Give you a new heart with clean desires? Will you let Jesus do that tonight? Will you let Jesus do that tonight? Then that's your idol. That's an idol, and all idols will lead somebody to hell. 
and I actually don't even believe a word you're saying. Everything about you is emitting depression. Everything about you is emitting anger and, and, and just self-hatred. I don't believe anything you're saying. You're saying those things literally just to try to bother me? Yeah, I know you are. I know, but the reason why you're saying it is to, is to seek to bother. But your life is, your life, your life is totally shot. And that's why you have so much anger and hatred. That's why you wear all of these different things. You even have a thing with Johnny Cash, who was a Christian. You know that Johnny Cash gave his life to the Lord? Country music's queer as fuck. You got, you got him on the back of your thing. Yeah, you know, if he was here, he'd be rebuking you too. Yeah, but that shit killed my But whoever that is, whoever that, that is, shit killed my no. ancestors. No. That shit killed my ancestors. No. No. That killed my ancestors. No. No, you got No, not true at all. Were, were there ever wars between tribes? Were there, did you ever have were there ever tribe wars between the tribes? Aztecs ever going around and killing uh, any other tribes? Yeah, there were. It's founded on homosexuality, because we're trans, Catholics, Christians. No. We like no. We killed innocent children. No. Our ancestors had to kill our children. Your ancestors were killing each other. No, they had to kill them because they didn't want to be near you white people. No. No. Read, You're the original sin. You're the white Read, read history. White read history. White read history and don't be a racist. You're a traitor. You're a traitor to your race. Hey, don't talk about black people like that. That's me. That's to your race. that's gonna get you in trouble. You're don't talk about our per somebody in our church. Don't be racist. Hey, don't be racist to black people. Don't be black. Don't be racist. Don't be racist. God doesn't want people to be racist. He wants them to. Jesus Christ wants to change people. That's why we're out here tonight. We're out here tonight to change people. To change people. To change people. I had a quick question, sir. Hey, I've seen you before. Yeah, how are you doing? Good, how about you? Doing good. Good, good, good. Good to see you guys today. Yeah. Yes, yes, they will. They will. Dude, you need to have talk, bud. Because half your people got half and you get mixed up. You know what? It's wrong. Yeah, they do. Yeah. You know what? Hey, I read the Bible every day. I'm like, and when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, and I'll stand right over and sing it to you, as soon as you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you go to heaven, period, no, no matter what. No, what you do. no, Matthew 7 says there will be many, many on that day that say, Lord, Lord, did we not cast out demons in your name? Did we not heal the sick? Did we not do all these things? He'll say, depart from me, I never knew you. Read the Old Testament, and John 3.16, peace to all of Okay, so it has to be real though. Somebody has to really do it. So how do we know you're for real, man? No, they have to because how do we know Jesus said you'll know a tree you know by its fruit. So the fruit of my life, the fruit of my life, the fruit of my life, because I'm preaching the word of God. How do I know you're not a false prophet? I'm not standing in front of people. I'm just wondering why Well, maybe because there's sin in your life and you're ashamed to. I read the Bible every day. Are you in sin? What? Are you in sin? Everybody sins every day. No, he, he changes Excuse you from me. sinner to be Excuse saint. Me. You're going to tell me you didn't sin today. See, there's sin that leads Wait. to death. You're going to tell me you didn't sin today. I did not, I did not willfully oh, rebel against God. See, what's your addiction? Are you, in a, are you addicted? Addiction. Then, I don't have an addiction. Except the idiots, I can't stand them. You see, you're, you're a liar. Well, you're acting you demonized Jesus, right now. No, when you you're cursing you, when and you you're angry. Jesus Christ, That's not the Holy not Spirit. Angry. Yeah, you, you are. You listen to me. You won't let me have You're my You're yelling. Say. You don't need to yell Here, in my face. Let me have my say then. What do you want to share? Why don't you let me put the thing like this, like the other guy did? Do what do you want to pre what do you want to share? Oh, it's only if you What like. do you want to share? It's only if you like. Okay, you don't you're, you're not, not being God. serious. You're not you're not either. And neither are you. Not but God lives in me. You know what? And God he lives in me. You, that will be determined on the day of judgment. Somebody's gonna see you in hell for being alive. Hey, the Bible says don't judge lest you be judged. Oh, 
pull the pull the plank out of your eye before you try to pull a speck out of somebody's eye. Then you should repent. Turn away from false gospels and false religion. I got the King James Version, buddy. Doesn't matter. And I got the New Doesn't Testament. Doesn't Doesn't matter. And the New Testament is the one that Doesn't matter. That thing went out. Oh, I got yes, plenty more. Sure. Got got plenty more. Good, got plenty more. more. Yeah. You're filled with hate, man. You're filled with hate. You're filled with hate. You don't know God. You're a liar. You don't know God. You don't know God one drop. You're filled with hate and anger. You gotta have something to say.